Yes, sir. I'm gonna make this video. I think it's very important to convey this message. American Negroes, descendants of the people who were enslaved, the people who were delivered from slavery, we are living in the book. We are living in the book, the Bible. And the main book we're living in right now is the book of Exodus. When uh, Joseph became governor of Egypt, let his family in, the uh, 12 tribes, the 12, his brothers, 12 brothers, 11 brothers. Yeah, sisters also, his father, mother. And when they grew up, and became a massive nation within Egypt. The Egyptians imposed abortion laws to oppress the uh, children of Israel. And then Moses' mother was ordered to uh, kill her, her male child. And she refused to comply with the abortion laws. So she put Moses in a carriage and put him in a river. And Moses was found by Pharaoh's daughter. And Pharaoh's daughter raised Moses in Pharaoh's house. So Pharaoh was Moses' grandfather, adopted grandfather. And Moses was the one to deliver the people out of Egypt, out of slavery, out of bondage. We had people such as uh, allegedly Harriet Tubman talking about the Black Moses. Dr. King, he played the role of a Moses. Even when he died, he talked about he went to the mountaintop. He saw the promised land. He's not going to go. He, he basically describing what happened in the book of Exodus, really in the book of Deuteronomy, when Moses was up and his brother had to die and they had to go to the uh, Moses went to the top and God said this is all you're going to see you're not going to be able to go with them with Joshua, Caleb to lead the children of Israel to the promised land so the older generation was uh, enemies to the younger generation You know, the old black people who have an affinity and a desire to go back to their captivity. It's like every every four years in America, we have this uh, presidential election. Every two years, we have these elections, and the Negro uh, the Negro population are invested in who is going to be their new new slave master. And usually they vote for Democrats. We we'll hope that this Democrat is going to do something good for them. He's going to deliver them salvation. And every four years after this Democrat was in office, they are lament, lament, uh, lamenting, like the book of Lamentations. Uh, Jeremiah, he wrote the book of Lamentations. They're whining and complaining about how this Democrat did nothing for them. They're worried about the white man's dirty politics. You had in the wilderness, when Moses led the children of Israel into the wilderness, you had a class of people who wanted to kill Moses to go back to slavery. And God told Moses to separate from them opened up the ground and they fell into the pit and he said I'm going to wait 40 years until all of those people with that mentality die off and I'm going to lead their children to the promised land and you see the comparison to that the Moses character he's not one person he's a particular philosophy 
akin to Booker T. Washington, Frederick Douglass, the one who wanted separation for their people. Even though Booker T. Washington wanted to stay in America, he still believed in separation. A Marcus Garvey, an Elijah Muhammad, those, those are the Moses characters. crazy that's the Moses character Elijah Muhammad Frederick Douglass the people who want to lead their people into separation from these devils and then you have the dudes that wanted to kill Moses the W.E.B. Du Bois the uh, the Uncle Tom's the Tariq Nasheeds, the Tariq Nasheeds, the uh, Claw Andersons, the coons that you see on YouTube, the Professor Black Truth, the uh, Black Authority. All they talking about is Democrat politics. All they talking about is Joe Biden. Are they talking about is Trump? Why are we concerned with the president? What what is the uh, the politics of the American Negro in interdependent of the so-called president? What is the uh, the vision of the American Negro that can be consistent beyond every four years? That's the true Moses character. And that character doesn't exist because everybody's concerned with their slave master. We want the slave master to pay us money, reparations for what they've done to us. But we're not willing to take this slave master to war and, and pressure and, and leverage the resources out this devil. The devil do not, even Moses, when he drove the children of Israel out of, e, out of Egypt, he tried to get them back. And he led himself to his own death, to his own demise. To, to, he, he really destroyed his own self because he didn't, want to, he didn't want the children of Israel to go because he made so much money off of them. So that's what I want to talk about. Uh... The lack of leadership, the lack of vision, and we need to study the people that's in the Bible to figure out how to get out of this situation. The key to our salvation is written in that Bible, and we're living in that Bible. We're living in all of the books simultaneously, but here, here a little, there a little. 